Okay, good morning vlog. So, um, today's Thursday and this weekend is my grandmother's funeral. Um, so today I'm heading out to get some, a few clothes item for me and my husband Thomas. He doesn't really have any nice pants right now, mostly work pants, and I don't really have a lot of, like, nicer dresses. I have a lot of, like, casual dresses, like the one I'm wearing. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna throw some makeup on real quick. Anyway, so I'm gonna chat with you guys in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and get my makeup on and catch up with you, so. Okay, so I'm ready now and I've just got to change my outfit here because this covered the leggings that I got from the Buy Nothing group that I was telling you guys in my last vlog are just a tad bit too small. Um, I was able to get them on but I'm not super comfortable with how they feel so I'm going to go ahead and change into a pair of jeans and a shirt and well, yeah, that's pretty much my plan. Brings me to my next point. I've been wanting to try and dress up a little bit more. Not like super, you know, super dressed up, but I've just been kind of wearing what fits and I'm kind of ready to be back into wearing my style um, rather than just trying to wear stuff that fits me. And so, like, for example, I know that I can wear fine clothes that fit me that are also in my style. I just don't try very hard because I just don't really want to buy clothes that are in my size, if that makes sense. Um, and for so long I've just been wanting to lose weight and to be in the size that I want it to be, but I need to accept it right now. That's not the size that I am and I need to dress accordingly and then I'll be a bit more content with what I'm wearing if I actually like it <laughs> and I'm comfortable in it. So that's kind of one of my goals this year to slowly try and revamp my wardrobe and also just changing my mindset when I'm shopping to actually try to pick things that I enjoy and that makes me feel good when I put it on. So for example, like this dress, I really love the color of it, but the style of it, it just, I don't love it. I don't think it's super flattering on me and it's just not something I would typically pick if I wasn't this size, but it's like big and loose and so it covers up all those lumps and bumps. <laughs> so I wear it. Um, so yeah, if you can relate to this, would you let me know so I don't feel so alone in this? Because I know there's got to be someone out there that feels the same way as I do um, when it comes to shopping for clothes. So, like I said, I'm going to change real quick and then we're going to get the kids in the car and take off to Walmart or Target for some clothes. So. Okay, so we're all in the car, buckled up and ready to go. You guys want to say hi? Yeah! Hi! Okay, so we're heading to Walmart, I think, or possibly Target, but that's where we're yeah. headed for today. We'll see you guys when we get home. Maybe. Okay, so Walmart does not have anything remotely dressy. Hi. They had like a few sweaters, but even the sweaters were definitely more casual, not really like nice, so... I'm trying to decide if I want to go home or go to Target. Right now I'm leading towards just going home, but I would have to try to figure out what I can do for my own closet because that's just not going to work. So, yeah. I'm kind of disappointed, not going to lie. And I'm, yeah. Pretty bummed out, so. Okay, so I'm back from the store and like I said, I couldn't find anything, um, there wasn't even really a lot of like dressy clothes and there was no dresses whatsoever. Um, the only thing they had was like a few sweaters, but even the sweaters were very <clears throat> casual, definitely not funeral worthy clothes. So I'm thinking that we'll go to Target tomorrow before we head out to my in-law's house because we're gonna stay the night there tomorrow um, so that my in-laws can watch the kid during the funeral on Saturday. So, I'm a little bit frustrated, but I have some coffee here to pet me up. This is helping me. Coffee always helps a little bit. I think I'll take another peek in my closet and see what I can do with what I have. Um, if I could maybe just get like one thing tomorrow to kind of finish off an outfit that I could wear. So, yeah. 
but it's now like 4 30 and i still have kind of a lot to do today so i'm probably not going to pick up the camera a lot more today but maybe later i don't know but we'll see Okay, so it's the next day and uh, Thomas tried on the pants that I got him yesterday and those didn't fit him either. So I have to go back out and get him a different pair of pants and I need to find myself a bra to go with a dress that I decided I would just go ahead and wear as one that I already have. And I like the way it fits me still so I'm just going to go with that and save a buck on some clothes. After that, I have to swing by my mom's house to pick up some shoes to wear with the dress I want to wear and then we're going out to my in-laws to stay the night so that um, Thomas and I can just get up in the morning and go get ready and go to the funeral tomorrow. So that's what's going on right now. I'm going to try to take you along with my day a little bit today but if not, I'll see you guys later I guess. You ready to go? Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's now a few days later. Um, I think the last time I picked up my camera, I said I was heading out to my in-laws, which I did. But I just wanted to catch you guys up really quick here. So it's now Monday afternoon and today's not really a day that I would normally pick up the camera and vlog but I just wanted to wrap this up so that I could have a video come up on Friday. But I do have a few things I want to talk about. Um, first of all my grandmother's funeral went as good as possible I guess. It was obviously kind of hard and difficult but um, it was over it definitely felt like a burden had been lifted. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching this if ever grieve like a grandparent or somebody close to you. It's very true that they say the funeral gives you some closure because I feel like a lot more relieved now that the funeral is over. Like, can kind of move on a little bit and just process it, keep processing it. Obviously, it's not gonna, everything's not gonna feel better overnight, but I just feel better now that the funeral is over and that part of it is over then we could just kind of keep going I guess in the year. I'm not sure why my camera's not wanting to focus on me right now. Come on, there we go. So that went really good. I could, could have gone but the whole rest of the weekend was just busy and um, exhausting so I never picked up the camera again um, till today which is my day. But I wanted to share before I close this video that I have some fun stuff coming up because I'm I have some like gift cards and stuff left over from my birthday and Christmas so this week my uh, mother-in-law offered to babysit my kids so that I can go and just have some time to myself um I may or may not actually be going with my mom but we'll see um but anyways after that I want to film like a little haul um or whatever I get. Probably not going to be like extraordinarily a lot but it will be fun at least something different to talk about on the camera. And also I've been doing really good at reading a lot lately so I want to come out with another what I've been reading um vlog I guess. So, so yeah we're just kind of hanging out. Today is Martin Luther King Day so I just got done uh sharing with my kids about that and we watched a little educational video and then afterwards we just had talked about it and ask them questions, they ask me questions, um, so if you're a mom and you're homeschooling, if you're a homeschool mom, uh, would you tell me if you did anything for Martin Luther King Day, what did you do, and any ideas, like, I guess, for next year, or even just, like, this week, it doesn't have to be specifically just today, but I'm thinking about, like, this month, really teaching the kids about this, segregation, and racism, and all this stuff, you know they have to be they need to be taught about it because it's still going on in this world and I don't want them to just learn about it from someone else or something so if you have any good um, resources videos books anything that you would recommend um, let me know because I would really appreciate that so so yeah that's pretty much it for right now I'm sorry this one was a little bit boring but it is what it is and hopefully from here on out things will be more interesting again and not so like 
depressing or sparse or whatever. So again, like I said in the last one, if there's anything you'd like to see from me more often, just let me know because I like making videos and I like to know what you want to see. So I saw that I have a few new subscribers and I want to say thank you for subscribing and if you are new, um, go ahead and comment and say hi to me and we'll get to know each other a little bit. Um, tell me what your favorite animal is or something, I don't know. So, but thank you so much for supporting my page and I appreciate you guys so much and thank you for watching even if boring vlogs like this, but thank you. I'll have some new ones coming out soon, so bye guys.